Multiple states are facing hurricane warnings. We're expecting Michael to hit within hours and our Jay Gray is live in Panama City Beach, Florida, braving the elements. Jay, this is intense, although it's just to the south of you about to make landfall. Can you describe to our viewers what it's been like for you over the last several hours of, as you've watched conditions degrade? Yeah, and Brandon, they really have deteriorated here. It's really intensified over the last 45 minutes to an hour. We're seeing strong gusts at this point. The rain is coming down in sheets. And the surf behind me, you can see it. It's it's really building as well. These are huge, huge waves. I don't know that they play that well on camera, but I can tell you they are 15 feet or so as they are breaking here. All of this going to continue to turn for the worse for the next several hours as you talk about. We are right in the strike zone here, and we expect to see massive power loss. We expect to see flooding in some key areas, and then that storm surge, which is going to be a real issue as well. In some areas, as much as 13 feet of water pushed into places it's never been. This will be the most powerful storm, Brandon, to ever cross the panhandle of Florida. And when you look at the perspective on that, understand this is a an area that deals with hurricanes uh, most every year. So uh, this is a, a really different and, and unique storm and, and one that's going to pack quite a punch, even as it moves inland. Have there been folks who are not heeding the advice to evacuate? And uh, what can you tell us about what you plan on doing as we head through the afternoon and evening? It's going to be nasty. Yeah, it really is. Uh, we've seen that most people have evacuated, but I can tell you on either side of us, we have people who've decided to run this thing out. Boy, we're getting a burst there. Mm. And, and, and here's a little bit of what helped them make that decision. They're both in, in relatively new structures, which were built to hurricane code here. They feel like they are safe. They've got the supplies that they feel like they need uh, for quite some time. As far as we're concerned, We've got a cinder block structure that we can move into should conditions get too rough. And, and that's our plan. We've got a good fallback here. So I feel like we're in a safe spot here. Of course, we're going to stick out as long as we can out here in, in this wind and rain and, and try and let people know exactly what's going on with this uh, monster storm. Bless you, Jay. Stay safe. It will be a storm like you wow. and the folks down there have never seen before and we'll be thinking of you again stay safe